Welcome to Panther Point. My name is Sherry Rigby Rowe, and today we're going to demonstrate the use of the Cricut machine. This version that we're using today is called the Cricut Explorer. I'm going to welcome at this time Mrs. Tamika Mullings, who is going to demonstrate the usage of this machine. Hi, it's me, Tamika, and today we're going to be exploring how to use the Cricut machine. Now, this version is the Cricut Explore. It's basically a startup kit, so I'm going to show you everything that comes in the kit and also the additional purchases that I made. First, we have our cutting mat. This is what you're going to place your paper on. It's an adhesive, so you have to take the plastic off before you put your paper onto the cutting mat. Also, I purchased extras because it is an adhesive and eventually it will wear off. So it's best that you purchase two or three and to have them in supply. Now this is the actual machine. It comes up, it opens up and it comes with a place for you to store your tools that you will be using to keep track of them. So during this, we're going to go through what each tool is for and what it does. Now the Explorer comes with one pen. It comes with a standard silver pen, but I purchased other colors because I like color. So we're going to be using those pens to make a design. Now your machine is going to come with a little package. In the side we have tips and tricks. It has the manual, how to set up the machine, what it's for. And it also has the website where you can go and download this program onto your laptop because you're going to need a laptop. This machine does not run by itself. It comes with a cord for you to hook the machine up to your laptop because you're going to send your images and your letters to the machine for it to cut or color. Here, it comes with a deep housing blade. This would be for the thicker paper, but we're not getting into that. There is a blade, a blade already installed in the machine, so this will just be an extra for that. And it comes with project materials. It comes with cardstock and pieces of duct tape for you to practice on and make pretty projects. Standard, pretty standard. So you can purchase these, or you can just use them or save them for a later date. But I have my own paper here that we're going to be using. And so let's get started. We're going to hook the Cricut up to your laptop. So at the back, we're going to make our connection. We're going to plug it in. It's the standard USB 2.0 size. All of the laptops come with it now. So once you have that plugged in, you can turn it on. This is the power button. You turn it on, it's going to power itself up and then your computer will recognize it. So if you're watching this part, you should already have it installed on your machine. So we're going to open it up. And here we have, this is the first one, section A is where you're going to put your pen and section B houses the blade. So what we're going to do is we're going to first cut out a letter. So on your computer, your laptop, I'll show you how to do the letters. So once you've formatted your letters, which we did on the screen, you're going to now peel off the plastic off your adhesive cutting mat. Place that to the side. We're going to place your paper on the adhesive. If you notice on your mat, you're going to get in the car corner where it says zero because this is the border. So anything outside of that will not cut. So it has to be in the grid. So we're going to place our paper in a cutting grid. And then we're going to load it on the machine. Now we sent the letters to the machine. So if you notice, there's a little light flashing on the machine. This is the load button. So using the sides, we're going to guide your mat into it. Slightly apply pressure, pushing it when you press the load button and the machine will load the mat. And then you can release it. Going to tell the machine what type of paper you've just placed on your mat. Now this is paper, so we're going to set it to paper. But if you're using poster board, iron-on, cardstock, this must do because it's different pressures that the blade must apply to get the paper to cut. So now our Cricut machine light is flashing. That means it's ready to go. So we're going to press that so the machine can start. Now once it is running, I suggest you don't pause it and you just make sure that your computer does not go to sleep and you let it run by itself. So you can see it is cutting. You can see the perforated edges where it's cutting out the shapes of the letters. Now while this is doing, you can, you do have the option where you can start formatting something else. Or if you wanted more of just those letters, you can add layers. So you can probably do two or three papers at a time if you wanted three of the letters instead of just one. So we can add more of the paper. I use the construction paper because it's better quality and it's thicker and it won't get stuck. Now, I know as teachers, 
You tend to use this paper that comes on the roll because it's cheap and it's 30 cents yard. But if you notice my cutting mat has some aqua on it, that's because I use this paper and the cutting board decided to keep some of the paper. So you need good quality paper. So if you get paper, I suggest you get the ones on the roll that has the white backing. It's of a better quality and it's thicker. So the machine is done because the loading light is flashing. So that means it's done. So we're going to press that and it's going to unload the mat for you. And when we peel it off, start at an edge of the paper. And you're going to peel off the paper and you've noticed that it cut out the letters. So you can peel off the excess first to make sure. Now, I'm glad this paper is doing this. You notice it's tearing. That's why they gave us tools. This little tool will help and makes the job much easier to bring it up and you can just take your letters off. And here we have our letter perfectly cut. You didn't have to trace, you didn't have to work. And we can do this as much times as we want.